Hi, I'm Dave Seidel, and I want to give you a brief introduction using my rudimentary video skills to uh, the new tuning options in version firmware version 3.1 of the Wingy 2. Uh, this uh, new version gives you eight different microtonal scales that you can select from. Uh, six of them are just intonation scales, two of them are EDO scales. Uh, and in addition, when you change scales, the cave mode is tuned to that scale, to all of the notes in the scale, so that you can use it sort of like uh, sympathetic strings. Um, the scales are selected in a couple ways. One of them is just using the, uh, holding down the left mode button when you turn on the device and the positions of the sliders determines which scale gets loaded. I'll go into that later. Uh, you can also switch back by conversely, you know, holding down the right mode button and turning on the device. that will clear it back to standard tuning. Uh, but even easier, you can do this all using MIDI, which is kind of cool because then you can switch tunings on the fly without having to restart the device. So um, that's all I'm going to talk about right here. I'm going to have some other segments following this. Uh, where I show in more detail how to uh, select a tuning, uh, both using the um, manual method and MIDI. I'm going to give you a, a little run through of each of the scales so you get an idea what they sound like. Um, and uh, I'm also going to do a couple of demos, one to show uh, uh, one way of using the wingy uh, in um, using the string mode playing through it as an instrument and another demo where I play another instrument through it uh, and use the cave modes and give a little uh, example of how cave modes can be used to give you sort of a sympathetic string type sound. All right, thank you for watching. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to activate alternate tuning and how to select which tuning you're using. Uh, this can be done in two ways. It could be done just with the device itself. I'll show you that first. It could also be done with MIDI. Uh, but to do it with the device itself, you start with it off, you hold down the left mode key, and then you use the sliders to select which tuning to use. And that way, the way that works is this. These are treated as, uh, in that context as numbers in a bi uh, digits in a binary number. So this is the first digit, one, two, four. If they're up, you get a number. If they're down, they're zero. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives us eight choices, zero through seven. So uh, we'll have to use zero base numbers for this scheme. So if I want to set this to the, uh, the fifth tuning, which is Metaslendro, uh, I would set this to four. That's four. I hold down the left mode key, plug it in. As soon as the lights are at their normal color, you're done. That's it. To change to another one, let's say I want to switch to Centaur, which is the first one, just do it again. Reset the uh, sliders to indicate which one you want. Hold down the left mode key button, rather, and that's it. Uh, to revert back to standard tuning, it's very easy. All you do is you hold down the right mode button instead. And it doesn't matter where the sliders are. If you hold down the right button and start it up, you're now back in standard tuning. That's it. Next, I'll show you how to do it with MIDI. Setting the tuning using MIDI is very straightforward. Uh, you need to set to channel 13, CC number 23, and the uh, values you can pass are 0 through 8, where 0 indicates standard tuning, and 1 through 8 indicate 
one of the new tunings. And I have this Novation Launch Control set up to do that. There's not really much to see. This guy is set up for standard tuning, and these are the different alternate tunings. That's all, really all there is to it. Of course, you can do this using Touch OSC or some other means, and I'll be providing a simple Touch OSC template. And again, all the details for this stuff is in the description of the video. Okay, let's run through the different alternate tunings in Wingy 3.1 firmware. Uh, we'll start with the standard tuning, just for reference. Uh, the only effect being used here is reverb. Otherwise, it's just the uh, string mode of Wingy played with this little contact mic. So, standard tuning. Now we'll get into the alternate tunings. There are eight of them. The first six are just intonation tunings, and the first one is called Centaur by Craig Grady. The second one is Terry Riley's Harp of New Albion tuning. Third one is the harmonic tuning of Wendy Carlos. The fourth one is uh, Lamont Young's well-tuned piano tuning. You'll note that some of the notes are lower in pitch than their preceding key, which is inter interesting, but by design. Well-tuned piano. The fifth one is called Metaslendro. It's from uh, theorist uh, Irv Wilson's work as uh, continued by Craig Grady. The sixth and last just intonation tuning is called Bihexony. It was devised by Gene Ward Smith. The next one is the first of the EDO tunings. This is Paul Ehrlich's hexaphonic dodecaphonic tuning. This is a, a 12 note subset out of 22 EDO. And finally, we have the augmented 12 tuning. This is a subset of 12 notes out of 15 EDO.
And that's it. Those are the new alternate turnings in uh, the version 3.1 firmware of the Wingy 2. Okay, I want to show you one of the possibilities of uh, stuff you can do with the new tuned caves uh, if you're using alternate tuning on the wingy. Um, I have my wingy tuned to the Centaur tuning and it's in cave mode and uh, the, the, which means that all of the resonators in the cave are set to uh, notes that are in that scale. Um, alternating between the left and right sides, you know, e odd and even numbers, so that I can fit an octave and a half on each side for each setting of the toggle switches. Anyhow, that sounds complicated, but it, it really isn't. Uh, what I'm playing here is an instrument called a Divina uh, that was made by the people at Soma. They've done a lot of really cool stuff. And the Divina is a fretless instrument, but I use tied frets. And I have the setup to an Indian Marva scale uh, in the Centaur tuning. So I'm going to play each note in the scale, and you'll hear how it resonates. Well, let me play it first, just the scale by itself. Obviously not a skilled string player. I'm still learning. All right, now I'm going to bring up the mix on the wingy. I'm going to play that scale again through the cave. So you notice that each note I played resonated with one of the cave tones. Uh, so it acted 
a little bit like, it acts a little bit like sympathetic strings in instruments that have that feature, like many Indian instruments or uh, Hardanger fiddle or uh, a few other things. So now uh, let me uh, make a little drone. I'm going to turn on these effects. So you have a sound like this. And I'm going to use this plus pedal. Can't really see it, but it's down here to set up a, a three chord drone that's going to sustain. Well, I can do other stuff on top. So here we go. There's the drone. This is just the Divina through the effects. This is the Wingy through the effects. I could bring it up an octave if I want. And since I realize that it's kind of nice to be able to pan between these timbres, the unaffected, our unwingy sound and the wingy sound, I use this MIDI hub by Blokas to um, send an LFO into the wingy to control that parameter. So now you can hear it cycle through wingy to plane, back to wingy, and back again. And I think this is a really nice way to animate the sound. Now in the context of a piece of music, uh, for example, I have a piece called Elegy for Harold Budd. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little bit of an excerpt of that without any of the synth parts. This is just the Divina stuff. But what I do there is I, I uh, establish the drone and then I create a loop using the microcosm. So here we go. Let's do that again. We have the three note drone going through the wingy caves with some effects. And then on top of that, we have this little loop that's playing on the uh, microcosm. So that's an example of uh, some stuff you can do with the new tuned caves.